Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee North. Yeah, I'm here with a video. So today, video is like all my videos, they're just simple. Stuff that I've already made before, I'm sure you've already seen. So today, I decided that I got a taste for some um, chicken and dressing. So, that's what I did. I made my cornbread up. Got my green peppers and onions chopped up. And I'm gonna put me, and I put a, a pack of Lipton onion soup mix in there. And it's got some other seasons I put in there. So I'm putting my green peppers and onions in now. I put my chicken in the oven. I cooked two whole chickens. They're over here on the stove. I'll show you in a minute. And I put them in before I went to church. And uh, you yeah, haven't been long got back from church. So I'm going to add some sage. It's the new one. I, I know I got one over there open. So. You know, this one has been open. It's just a little thing was stuck up in the top. So I'm going to add some sage. Some poultry season. I already just shook the shade in there. Now I'm at the poultry season. And you know I don't measure anything. I'm put a little onion powder in here. And I broke up some bread. Some uh, buns. Leftover buns I had. You know I don't throw anything away. And especially if I can still use it. And put a little garlic powder in it. And I'm not going to put any salt in it just yet because, and I might not need any salt because that Lipton onion soup pack is, you know, it's got a lot of salt in it. And that's white pepper. I'm going to melt some butter and pour in there. And I got some chicken broth. I'm going to pour in here. You know, arthritis can hit you anywhere. And I truly believe that I have arthritis in my shoulder, in my right shoulder. But it's a funny thing. My sister uh, obviously has it in hers, too, because her, we got the same complaint. And my sister in Memphis, she got the same complaint, too. All of our right shoulders. Yeah. So, let me get some butter, and I'll be back. Sorry about that. Okay. Getting ready to add some butter. You said you were putting them on top of the freezer or something. I know I said I put them somewhere. I don't remember where. On the side of that freezer. Where? On the side of that one. On the side. Look on the side. I don't see it. Well, that's where you was putting them. Oh, they're all the way back. Give me a cup of water behind me. What you looking at? Hello. Hold on. This is Brittany. I'm in the So now I'm gonna take my hands and mix this all up.
I'm gonna add some celery season to it. Because I'm not big on celery. I'm gonna add the celery seed. Every now and then I might chop up some celery in it, but I'm not real big on celery. But the seeds will do is just as good. I've already put um, some um, chicken uh, broth in here, onion soup mix, onions, green peppers, um, my cornbread, and I had some uh, buns that I broke up in here. Any kind of bread will do. I got a spoon here. And taste for the flavor. Perfect. I'm going to put two eggs in here. This is your binding. that egg up in here. Now that you don't put the raw egg in, you can't taste it anymore until it's done. Now always taste it for the seasoning before you put the raw egg in. You don't want it soupy soupy, but you don't want it dry either. Now these two whole chicken, I'm gonna take them off the bone. After this is done, I'll lay it over top. You know where the light is at, Mom? Yeah, I had it lighted. them four pans maybe laid it up there okay now this is going in the oven now I'm gonna debone the chicken and I'm putting it in another pan We like the skin and all. So I'm gonna tear it up and leave it in there too. I don't break it up into real small pieces, but I do break it up so it can be bite-sized. They come through with a tongue they can put it right over top of their dressing. This chicken is still warm, but it's not hot, so I can handle it. I got family that'll stop by, so it's better to debone and let them come through and get their chicken like this instead of um, trying to um, cut chicken and you know it's just gonna hold up everything. So it's better for me to, to bone debone it.
So, yeah. Let me get this all the bone in it. Yes, I am. What level? Okay. Here's my uh, sweet potatoes, but they're going to be stovetop, not going in the oven. So I got brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and I add some white sugar. Let that cook down. I got butter in there. Okay. So... I need to end this video. Yep. Uh, you know it's Sunday. And you know what we do on Sunday. The family comes around. I'm going to show you an ending. Sliced tomatoes. Candy yams. Dinner rolls. Green beans. It's up under there. Chicken. And dressing. Yeah. So... You know what I have to do. Let me speak to the Lord about this. Amen. Amen. And I'm drinking a piece of soda. Yeah, it's been shared by those. My grand. So, let's see what we're working with here. It's just a little Sunday dinner. And there's two shell. And there's thing three. Jerome. Yeah, that's Jerome. He's three years old. Sweet potato. Can he? Mm. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Green beans. Mm -hmm. Yep. And let's hit this dressing. Mm -hmm. I got some sitting here with their mouth open. The grandbabies. Mm -hmm. Mouth open. Mouth open. Three year old said that. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can have some, Daddy? Yeah, you can have some. Mm-mm. Yeah. And that's, um, uh, thing four. Yes. Mm -hmm. Taking the oranges. Mm-hmm. That's ready. Yes. Mm-mm. Can I help, please? Can you help me, please? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought it was one already open. Well, we open, you know. And I need to open. Throw that away. Hold on. My grands are getting busy. Can you hear me? No more. Mommy mm -hmm. It's over here. I got a lot going on here. Yeah. Come on. And that's baby girl. Brittany. No. Mm -hmm. No. So. No. Come on, guys. Get a spoonful. And that's it. Get a spoon. Honey, here's your spoon right here. Now, huh? Just. Listen to Nana. Hold up. These are little intermissions I have to do. Put some on that plate. Yeah. Sue Chef, don't hear no. No, she don't. She's going to eat Cool Whip, uh, whip cook, taco. Uh, 
Let Nana help you. You without you think it's ice cream. Okay, that's enough. Put top on it. Put it back in the refrigerator or put it in the freezer. Yeah. So, the dinner. Yeah. I'm okay. Okay, you okay? Yeah, Push on the door. Push on the door. Make sure it's shut. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to have to end the video. I got to entertain my grand. I'm sitting here talking to my older grand about going on a cruise. Going in October. It's going to be my birthday present. Mm-hmm. Tennessee North will be 61 um, on the 11th. I'm leaving for the cruise on the 13th. Yeah. It's going to be a family event. Yeah. So. This whole meal is delicious. Okay. Ask mommy if you go have it, okay? Okay. When I went to church today, he spoke about um, if you're going to walk the walk and talk the talk. You can't lie to God. So, um, if you ain't up on what you're supposed to be, please don't use that term loosely. He knows my heart. Because he knows when you're lying, too. And your eyes turn black. He came from my Ephesians today. And um, pretty much what he was saying was, if you're going to um, change your life or change your ways, you got to show it. Don't just say it and, and not mean it. Because you're lying to yourself and God. So, um, if you're going to... Um, Pretty much just be true to yourself. If you're going to walk a different way, you got to change your ways. You can't just say it and not mean it. Um, kind of like a hypocrite says, well, I'm a Christian. I'm one of those Bible beaters. And then they, as soon as your back turn or nobody's watching, they're doing everything but that. Yeah. So if we're going to change our walk, yeah, you got to change your ways. <laughs> Be true to yourself. Yeah. So let me end the video. If you like anything about this video, give me a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. Tell someone about Old Tennessee North. Hit that notification button, you know, in the corner. So you know the next time old Tennessee North comes back with a video. And you know I'm coming back with a video. And with my little grands too. Okay. Well, yeah, it's Sunday. Well, it's called, What's Your Sunday Meal? Mm -hmm. Bye now.